In this lesson, we are going to implement URL routing. What we want to do is to make this possible. When you click on a product, the URL is going to be changed like this, slash product and the ID of that product, and you will be redirected to a new page. Also, we are going to implement 404 error page. Let's implement that. Here is the plan. Uh, first of all, we need to create a route a screen object for home screen. Open frontendsrcapp.js. And what we want to do here, right before the router function, define const routes. And it's an object. The key is going to be the name of this URL and the value is going to be the screen that responds to this URL. For slash, it means the home screen. The responder is home screen. And for slash product slash colon ID. And colon ID here means that it's just a placeholder for the real ID that is going to be replaced with the browser address bar and the responder is going to be product screen we need to create product screen first let's go to a screens folder right click new file and set file name to product screen.js i'm going to keep it as simple as possible const product a screen equal to an object that contains a render function and it just return product a screen wrap it inside backtick and and that's it let's export default product screen here it's time to import this I press an N press tab and it's gonna get imported automatically right here let's follow the plan after creating routes object it's time to create util.js and inside that, we are going to define a function to parse request URL. In the src, right click, new file, utils.js. And inside that, export const. The name of function is parse request URL. It doesn't accept any parameter because it has access to document.location.hash and that's what we're gonna use to create routes. Let's get the URL. I'm going to use this const URL equal to document.location.hash and I'm going to make it to lowercase. I'm going to split that by forward slash so const request equal to url dot split by forward slash and at the end i'm going to return an object that contains three properties the first one is resource equal to the second element of request it's going to be request a square bracket 1 because it's a zero index array. 1 points to second item. ID is going to be the third element, which is request 2. Request 2. And the last one is action. The last part of request equal to 3. By returning this object, we can get access to the resource, let's say in the app.js here, the resource is product. And also we have access to the real ID, which in this case is the ID that user entered in the address bar 
to get access to the details of this product. It's time to use that function inside router function. Right after the beginning of body of router function, let's define const request equal to parse request URL. Press tab to import this function right here. It's time to define parse URL. Const parse URL equal to First of all, I need to check request.resource. If request.resource exists, then I just return this a slash dollar sign request dot resource. Otherwise, enter a slash itself. It's gonna be for the home page. So I'm going to concatenate this string, you know, let's say this string as a whole string. And then I'm going to concatenate this with this part, their ID part. If request.id exists, use slash colon ID. Otherwise, use empty string. And at the end, concatenate this with the last part, which is about the verb. Request.verb. If it exists, use this string slash dollar sign curly braces. Request.verb. Otherwise, empty string. Put semicolon and save the file. So by having parse URL, I can compare this value with the items inside routes key. Let's do that. Const a screen equal to routes and inside a square bracket, I put parse URL. If a value for this parse URL exists, I'm going to return that routes parse URL. Otherwise, I want to return an error page. Let's set that error page to error 404 screen. Good. It's time to implement 404 error screen. What I'm going to do is to duplicate product screen and rename that to error 404 screen.js. Here I just show a message page not found. That's it. Let's set the name of constant to error 404 and use that in the export part. Let's go back to app.js and at this point, it's time to import this. Select the last font, press enter to import the 404 screen. So here I have the screen and at this point, instead of rendering home screen, I'm going to render the router screen, the screen that calculated based on the route that user entered in the address bar of browser. But we need to call render method of that screen. And the last step to implement routing is adding an event listener for hash change of the window. Window dot add event listener for hash change. The responder is router function. That's it. Let's check the results. Here, when I click on a product, I will be redirected to product screen. And when I click on the home page, I will get the home page. Also, if I enter a not exist route, what do I get? Page not found. 
That's it for this lesson. What we implemented together is adding routing to this e-commerce website. So it's possible for us in the app.js to define lots of resources and pages and make it possible to create different pages right here and implement the details of those page in different JavaScript file. That's it for this lesson. And what we're gonna do for the next lesson is to create a very simple Node.js backend server because we are going to serve some data and make the data you see in the home screen to backend data instead of having a data.js as a static in the front end side. We are going to move this to the backend and make it possible to send AJAX requests to the server and get data and show them in the front end like this. Until that lesson, bye bye.